Coming up next on Testify. Not how I they are bigger things. Not no, not how we are now. Zia, what I just said, like I'm, I'm not like the devil is cunning. That is what I said. We had excuses on top of excuses. Yeah, and I was like, hey, God, man, I want to protect to find an issue goal. Okay. You know, me, me, see, sit and I wash it down. See, like sit and put outside this yog for the devil. Hello and welcome to Testify right here on Hope TV where you look and live. It's time for another moment of faith starring, another moment of being encouraged and being challenged to the glory and honor of God. My name is Sharon Aitore Wangenye and I am so pleased that you made it to watch this program today. My guest today is a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I say that because I've had the privilege of uh, interacting with him for some time. He is my colleague, as you will probably get to find out as we go on. And uh, he is a great servant of God. He has an amazing story. God has been so kind to him. God has been so faithful to him. So I encourage you to stay on throughout. If you can't share this with as many people as you possibly can, it doesn't matter how far you think you are gone in sin. God is our redeemer. He redeemed King David, David King. <laughs> David King, and he can redeem you as well. Karibu sana, David. Thank you, Sharon. I will try as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, not to laugh. Lakini na John tacheka hapa na pale. Why, why should you try not to laugh? Uh, because I, I want to, you know, soak into the, <laughs> into the so story. Funny moments in there, so it's, yeah, you it's okay to laugh. It's okay to laugh. Yeah. Thank you for allowing I mean, me. When I some people would wonder, hey. Hey, mana. That's Check inappropriate. I know. So, Karibu Sana. Asante. It's a joy and an honor to have you on Testify. Yeah, I'm honored to be here. Aya, so, Satombi, a little about mm -hmm. yourself. Who's David? Wow, uh, I'm David King, like you mentioned. Not King David. <laughs> we reserve King David for the original. Okay, King, King David. David. <laughs> I'm David King. I'm born again. I love the Lord. Amen. Uh, I think I, I could start by saying God is very rich in mass. I think that is what I could start by saying. We live in a, in, a, in a time when people are very brutal. Like people are surprised when you're shown kindness. Right. Like if I show you kindness, you'll be surprised. That is the kind of uh, generation we live in. That's right. But uh, I'd want to assure any viewer that God is very rich in mass. Mm. Actually, Ephesians 2.4. But God who is rich in mass. Mm. We don't have merciful like people anymore, very few. Yeah. But God is rich in mercy. I think I'd start by that. Um, I'm a quiet guy sometimes, but also I tend to be very lively sometimes. I think it's exposure in life that has made me to be that way. Other than that, for testify purposes, I'm yes. here to tell my story. <laughs> so. Uh, I got, bo okay, I'm what? born and bred in Nairobi. Okay. Ah. So, Nilizaliwa Mazarenov, but I, I, I grew up, okay, maybe four or five years in Mazarenov. Then we moved to Kasarani, where I spent most of my years. But then around class six, I went to boarding school in Embu. And then I went to high school in Embu for two years. And then I went to high school in Moranga. And then I cleared and went to campus. Okay. So I think that's an overview. Of the story. <laughs> of the story. But now we want to get to the nitty gritties. Yeah. So growing up, yeah. how was it? First of all, in Mathare. Um, yeah, in, in Mathare North. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'd say that I wasn't really a people person. By God's grace, I was very bright in school. So I'd spend most of my time reading and trying to know some stuff, you know, <laughs> hanging out with. Actually, I think for most of my life, up until now, not most of my life, up until now, 99% yeah. of my friends are older than I am. Uh -huh. Since then, like, I don't know. I loved hanging out with so people who could challenge my, me in, uh -huh. in a way. Well, okay. 
okay, intellectual. <laughs> I said by God's grace. I began Because I was about that. to ask, will you know now in Guinea? No, no, no. They don't I, know much. No, but I was just attracted to, to, that, to that unknown. Okay. Because Nikki hung out in my peers. Come on, he bowled such as a two ball, like, you know, so. Yeah. It had a bad impact later on, as you'll get to know. But I think over and above all that, uh, God was still planning something. All right. God was orchestrating something that would work out for my good. Mm. Well, so uh, I spent my formative years in school and, uh, you know, learning and stuff. But when I got to around class five, six, mm. like I said, I used to hang out with people that are older than I am. So I found myself hanging out with crooks in a way. Okay? I think I should give a disclaimer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Please. Early enough. Yes. Right? Probably there is a parent or guardian of one of the people I used to hang out with that might watch this. Okay. Uh, I'd like to say that Nasema <laughs> even you know, it's just the journey of life. Okay. And I'm, I really pray that each and every one of them may get to the knowledge of Christ. Amen. Actually, when I got born again, Kunawatu, they used to literally come to our home, knock, they say they want to meet me, and they say they don't want anything, they just want to be prayed for, or okay, and that's that. Oh. Yeah. So prayed for by who? By you? Yeah. Yes. So, okay. Kama Kunamzazi yeah. Anatazama, or a guardian, and probably will do what I used to hang out with. I'm not trying to be malicious. I'll not mention any name, actually. Okay. So I'm saying this with a lot of love. Sure. So, okay, so back to the point. So I found myself hanging out with some, you know, crooks. In a way, mm. what a parent or guardian will call the bad people. Yes. But since I was very kadogo, I on an issue, like... You know, I'm just hanging out with them. You know. Plus, I'm enjoying their conversations. Niko, Niko, come 13 years. Mm -hmm. So they are talking of having like girlfriends. Siji amenda kula la kwa demi yake and kula like wow, wow, dude. Tatoka home mimi aji first of all. You know, they are talking about having their own money. Niko like you have your own money. Yeah. Hey, wow. You know. <laughs> but in a few months. If you're hanging out together, they'll, they'll obviously take me to where they hang out. So to end a rooftop, Mali, they're there smoking weed, and you go like, wow. Okay, in a kind of interesting but oh, mm -mm. you know. But that cannot happen for long. Absolutely. Eventually, you talk yeah. like, ah, come on, in a, in a Zaizi story, stam <laughs> <laughs> Let me give it a try. I think I should try this. Yeah. So that's how it began. And uh, since I'm in boarding school now, First of all, the devil is, is, is a very cunning man. Uh, my performance in school, he can't go to school. But me, miss, like... I'll notice. Ama, you don't care. Ama, I don't care, like, okay. in a way, because... Me seem to have revise from any, like, from Kitambo. Me, mm. naka class, na soma, na fanya exam, and that's that. Yeah. But my parents want to notice that. I, you know, mm. but since ni meanza ku indulge in drugs, ni ko like ah, like ah, no, ka kuna issue. Like. Mm. Gotcha. Go. Ulianza aje first of all, ku indulge into those things. Fine. Yeah. You have been to the rooftop with these guys and they're yeah. smoking whatever it yeah. is. How was the experience for you? Were you? Did you feel guilty? Did you feel like I should not be doing this? Slightly. Okay. Why? Because my parents are servants of God. So you, you, you already have that seed of God in you. Are you a firstborn? No? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> you'll have that ka, ka guilty feeling. Yeah. But, ah, you know, you've hung out with these people for so long. I won't become any big deal. Because mm. for them, it's not a big deal. Yeah. But I'm forgetting that. Like more than 10 and stuff. Mm. So, Nilianzaji. I was just curious. Niliona kama yapa ndio stories zitamu zinazaliwa. 
See, at time, I'm pretty sure, like, dude, you yeah. know. First of all, I'm like, hey, you're a kid, you know. But after a while, they can give me, but they'll take care of me. Like, if anything was to happen, yeah. they're there. At least they're there. I'm not doing it alone somewhere, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, Nikki and us, Shule, like, I'm not doing any drugs. Mm. But during the holiday period, where, you know. You, you went into it full-fledged? Or you started with one, then you graduated to another, then another? I went and I graduated to another, <laughs> then another, okay. you know. Uh, that happened a lot in Kifikansa class 8. Because after that, I went to high school mm. in Embo. So the high school I went to, um, I don't know. You know how we, we say that God is a master planner? Yeah. The devil is very cunning. He knows also how to, to put people on your way that can further his agenda. So when I got to high school, um, an elderly cousin of mine was there. So I ahead now. I don't know, I look form three, I form one or something. Mm. And then I, 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 I bumped into someone, or an Nairobi Huko, yeah. who was also, you know, older than I am. And I loved their, their, their company. So in form two, to Kapanga, a major strike, like a major one. Mm. Uh, Mkapanga, that means you were part of the planning team. Yeah. Why were you striking? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You don't know. I was part of the team that was planning. So they sold the idea and like, hmm, okay. You know, like all this, the neighboring schools were my strike, bro. Like, tunafaya nini uku? Ah, limu, ata wataki to pay entertainment, mrefu, like, you know. Some very flimsy Yeah, reasons. but the, the, the whole idea to need to talk to you home. Okay. You know. And your story can leak in mm -hmm. na GSU waka place wa that ka market in a in a border the, the school. Okay. But kwa ule snitch alikuwa in our midst, and I see to a snitch kwa captains, school captains. Mm -hmm. So he warned us early enough, na katwambia wa guys, watcha tu to stage ki 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 peaceful protest. Mm -hmm to see anything, because I was like, hey, kuna karao all over the place. Okay. And I said, to take that seriously. So to change the whole plan, to stage a peaceful protest, to walk out, like the whole school, mm. and we walked to town, Embu town, and then kila mtu home. So when we, come, when we came back to school, after the long, I don't know, disruption, yeah. si unakuja moja moja. So when, when, I, when I showed up, deputy principal, akambia my dad, Kijana tunambiwa alikuwa part of that team. We go like, how? If you can prove that, then prove, you know. Okay. So wakashindwa. So now you're saying that to your dad or to the principal? To the deputy principal. Okay. So when wali shindwa kuprove, like, na wambia tu, hiyo ni word of mouth. Like, same ni kitu ingine, yeah. like. Muna se maaji, miku wanza mini, muna wana niko form two, like, yeah. nikifanya nini. But watu wananza ukora wakia form, niko like, you prove. When they cool in, uh -huh. Akasema, okay, wacha abaki shule. But I told my dad, nitaku hapa victimized all along. Like, sita have a good time in, in school. Nataka ni hame. Okay? So my dad, I was like, okay, sawa. We looked for a school in Moranga, ni kahamo. Sawa form three. Okay. When I went there, birds of a feather flocked together. Nika patana watu wengine that are into drugs. And they're actually selling it in school. Whoa. So nika like, ah, nice, strong. Whatever was happening, kule nilikuwa, is happening here. Yeah. I forgot to mention, mm -hmm. now that uh, former high school I was in in Embu, I don't know, they'll forgive me, but Sai Mamo, you may change it yeah. some years back. Hey, yeah, you go to school. You go to school, 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 <laughs> anyway, Even alcohol. A lot has changed now. I know, right? But then you were doing all those things in school. Yeah. Students were not allowed to carry snacks to school, right? Yeah. But then you're selling biscuits and avocados. On yeah. top of it, you're selling weed. Yeah, you, we sneak alcohol. out. So that key, key big box, 
hadi hata nakumbuka mpaka wa leo mm. tulikuwa tuna hii by 110 bob na iko na 300 pieces yeah. za biscuits yeah. so tunauza kila piece i think two bob so tuna make profit ya kama times 3 yeah. or times 4 you know stuff like that so when the i money went money would go to so tunagawanya alafu mnafanya nini nayo when we go now for the holiday season yeah. tuko tao tuko heavy <laughs> So when I went to the new school nilikuwa like okay sana ishiaji huku na kuna kaka kuko strict huko nini but then nikapata watu wengine wenye they are into that and mm. like ah awesome So this one time we've planned on sneaking out to go and get drugs tukashikwa Atu kushikwa like kwa fence ama nini mm. Those random I don't know security checks or something that were happening in the dormitories wakakuja tu wakatoa which glee but mm-hmm. uh, pia like the other side tulikuwa na mtu wa kutupea info tulikuwa na intel yeah. so anafungua box imepangwa iko na kamusi iko na dictionary <laughs> so these teachers are like ah oh, bana Not here. so they really beat us like wow seriously when they took us to the staff room we were very defiant tukawaambia mm-hmm. kama hujapata drugs hapa hakuna mali unatupeleka tafadhali Ish. Umepata. The confidence. They called cops to intimidate us. Tukaambiana na my friend, sometimes ajina. Tukaambia, tukaulizana na my friend, kuna kitu wamepata hapa? Hapana. So like what atupeleka hapi mm. asi. So the cops came. The cops asked exactly that question. Did you find Kuna any? drugs mmepata hapa? No. Hapana. So mnafanyia nini hawa watoto? <laughs> so as it go like, eh, hey. so you know. <laughs> So they didn't expel us why because me and my friend yeah another but he passed on we got this we were good performers so definitely I'm like okay stop i can't expel these guys yeah. you're like whatever expulsion full so he gave us to a long suspension na tukarudi shule so when you went home what what was the story First of all my dad was really angry with the school mna piga mtoto wangu karibu mumuue na hakuna kitu my innocent child you know? no <laughs> that's how happened your things started changing he started thinking to himself mm-hmm. whatever I was told in the other school might actually be true because things seem to be adding up yeah but hakuna evidence hakuna but yeah this might actually be happening but hana like hana a way to you know to to piece these yeah. things up So fast forward to form 4. I can tell you for free Sharon, sijui vile nilipata marks za kwenda campus. I don't know. Yeah. Cuz si kwa nasoma at all. Ah, uh, nilikuwa tu na na chill to like, you know. So nikaingia campus. Mm. Okay? First year before the first year ishe, mhm. Nikapata na watu wengine wenye <laughs> tunaelewana. And then now hawa ni large scale in a way like they've been in this for a while okay na tunaelewana and then mmoja tumetoka the same home area mm. embu mwingine ni wameru but sasa tukakuwa three of us but tunaelewana sana and we thought hi every time we sit with people to to do drugs they appreciate our drugs our stash to it a stash uh-huh. and why like, it was yes, quality kola mali sasa so tukaambiana kama kila mtu anasema hivi kuna haja tu kwetu na stock yetu pekee yetu situ anze tu kuzia you know oh wow and so it began i think this is where we should say that i should encourage a parent or a guardian that you can you can take a lot of measures to raise your to raise up your kid well but the back stops with god mm. many people right now this age of intellectualism yeah. are focusing on five things to do to do nini 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 yeah. ten things to keep your kid see you nini absolutely ah uh, you should have conversations with your kid i don't yeah. know that is okay i can't downplay that <laughs> but just be a prayerful person just like that is the the ultimate way of securing anything not right. only your kids cuz from there 
the events that happened in my life from then on, I can honestly say it was just God safeguarding my future. Mm. Just before you tell us about the events that happened, yeah. let me take you back a little. So when you are advancing all these biasharas, yeah. and you're becoming this kind of a person who's not just using, but then now selling, yeah. have your parents noticed anything? Are, are had they aware? Rumors, okay. But they're not sure. So what would you do to cover up when you go home? I'd ensure that any time I know I'd be going home, yeah. I'm sober. Yeah. So then, on the back of your mind, yeah. you were very intentional that your parents should not know this thing. Yeah. Okay. Because, okay, later on, l let me say what I, I'm supposed to say later on. Mm -hmm. I'll say it now. Mm. Kandona Vitu Mingi, yeah. without them going on a pulpit, I, I am 190% sure my parents are servants of God. Mm -hmm. Not because of the pulpit ministry, yeah. because of how they handled me at that particular time of my life. Okay. I am sure. So I, I really honored what they do. So I was very intentional, like you're saying. Not to trash. Not to, you know, <laughs> like now I see to sit at home. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and then, in a way, I was very, okay, I was rebellious in a way, but in a very subtle way, because yeah. I would tell them like sikuji like msikwela maswali mo but sikuji too like me chill too you know yeah. especially when I was in high school because that's about you're under their care so I'm like hey, wait like to see some more I'm gonna adjust too mukini itaji mune ambi I'll show up you know so I'll, I'll ensure every time niko now niko sober but when I go to campus sometimes no jo wata sema hey to kona family gathering ya all the people and stuff niko like says and like to sober bana atakama atakama ni ni you know so na kuja a little bit tipsy but you're managing yourself yeah so yeah i honored their their service to the lord god all right so you it was for them yeah it was for them now this seed <coughs> this seed had been planted in you yeah. as i mean the seed of god because you're raised up in a minister's home yeah Hakuna mahali ilikuwa inakuhit like I'm doing the wrong thing. Like no Sharon the devil is very cunning. I think I think the devil people know is not the devil of the Bible. Mm. Remember when Christ had to talk about wisdom. Yeah. He said maybe wise as serpents like he acknowledges this this <laughs> fella is wise, you know. Like actually Shetani wa Biblia, yeah. si shetani watu wana ubiri. He's a very cunning fellow. He was in the presence of God before we ever showed up. So, he knows how to, to handle his matters, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what, what you say, Yeah, so, I get the point. Ukisema, ati, akuna kitu ndani yako, ati ina... No, no, no. He ensures you're dead. That's why we are called dead. Like, yeah. you're dead in sin. You're dead. You may have that a conviction now that will happen for someone who is in a minister's house like myself yeah. but mtu mwingine huko nje ah we in your life probably adam says you can't kunywa unajikataza ni kunywa kwa nini so for a minister's uh, you know son or daughter ndio unaweza sema evil mm. like huko unasikia cuz you, you you're in that space yenye yeah. ni yesu anatajwa and stuff but mtu mwingine you don't expect that at all right and then when you go so deep Actually, I don't like to me now. Penda, you know what to a mungu so. Go in what to just do your thing. Yeah, let me do my thing. Actually, Sharon, when I when I got really deep in it, Miss Kona Kosa Sunday service. Gotcha. To tell your story. Let's take a very quick break. We'll be back in a few moments. Thank you for consistently tuning in to watch and listen to our content both on Hope TV and Hope FM. You are the reason why we are on air. The CBS Family Service 
now comes to you every Sunday at 4 p.m. on Hope TV, Hope FM, and on Sitam Church Online. The Holy Spirit will empower our prayer lives. Our mission is to know God and to make Him known through evangelism and discipleship. CBS Family Service on Hope FM and Hope TV, where you look and live. Welcome back. This is Testify on Hope TV. If you just joined us, Karibu Sana, and missed a bit of the story, you can go back to uh, YouTube or Facebook and you'll get to watch a bit of it or the part that you missed. But if you were with us, thank you so much for staying with us. We continue with the conversation. Remember to interact with us through our WhatsApp line or through our social media platforms. Welcome back, King. Karibu. Oh, Santi. Sorry, Santi. So... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm also a media personality, so I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. No problem at all. Yeah. So, where did we leave it at? Um, uh, I don't know. High, no, campus. Yes. And no, I mentioned that I never missed Sunday services. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so I'd go for the morning, very early morning service, English service, 8 to 10, and then leave. And go How ahead. was that like? Like, you... Would you worship when people are worshiping? Would you pray? Would you? No, I just chill. But come on, my coffee center pig at all. What? But I think in a you way you are putting up a show. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. I was very intentional about it. Like, okay, I had done a lot of research on the people that I was listening to then, like mm. musicians. Okay. And I noticed water, they have a spiritual inclination. Like water, at a kama wengine tunambiwa ni siju illuminati, devil worship, and then, but nilikuwa naona all these people, bana, wakona spiritual backup. Mm. So, mimi si, I don't subscribe to him, mambo ya shetani. Yeah. <laughs> Let me lean on God. <laughs> Let me lean on God. Okay. Sharon, anyone that is doing anything large scale, wakona spiritual backing. Anyone. Okay. Anyone. Whichever spirit. Anyone that is doing anything large scale are going to spiritual backing. Either ni amungu or shetani, but they all rely on that other realm. Sister, how were you expecting mm -hmm. whatever you were doing mm -hmm. to marry with this God? But this I'm God not, that we know. I, I was like, mimi mungu si yui watu. Oh, you know, like. Yeah. Not yeah, how there, I went. There are bigger sins. Not, no, not how I went in Auzia. Wala jileta, like. I'm, I'm not like, <laughs> the devil is scanning. That is what I said. So you had excuses on top of excuses. Yeah, and I was like, hey, God, man, I would have to protect, to keep an issue good. Okay. You know? Mm. Mimi si sita enda kwa shetan. Mm. Si, like, <laughs> sita fata usai this yoga for the devil. Yeah, so, you're the one to help me. Yeah. Okay. So I'd go to church and, and sing and kupraise. I, I can't say I, I prayed. Mm. Natulia, tu wakiyomba mi nafunga macho, tu nene, you know. Na wadi kipritiwa? Nimetulia na skiza, you know. And after that, I leave. I used to bump into um, uh, members, congregation, or a church, and they'd preach to me a lot. Wana nisi mamisha tu, na mskiza, na mpea time. Did you think they suspected, they knew what you were doing? Si hando wanapea na stories sasa kwa my folks. But... Akuna mtu kweli ana like Akuna mtu akona your evidence later on yeah. kulianza kutokea evidence okay. cuz i would I'd show up kwa hizo mitaa nikiwa very drunk uh, at some point kwanza nilichoma big time nikapitia kwa crusade ya my dad nikiwa maji but si kwa crusade crusade like huko somewhere ya karibu kwa sidelines actually that day my dad was very mad mm. oh my goodness cuz aliambiwa yeah. i'm like tuliona devi I'd say for, 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 a, for a believer, if that is happening to your pastor's kid, go and pray. You're not helping your pastor by going and telling him, hey, I'm going to go to the streets. You're not helping them You're making it even worse. a bit. Because yeah. when they minister to people and people get born again and people get healed, 
they are happy, but not really. Because once they go back, they're asking God, so telling them that you're not helping them. Um, let me fast forward, Kidogo, but I'll come back. Okay. There are some ladies in our church now that took this other route that I'm talking about. Waliskiza, wakaskiza, wakaskia, and then they were like, okay, yeah. what can we do about this? And these ladies actually, now they told me after I got born again, they started doing night vigils, mm. asking God, you have to deliver this one. Oh, for you? Yeah. Wow. Three ladies. That's amazing. Like they, they just said, okay, enough. Tumesikia ya kutosha. Yeah. Nini tunaweza fanya? Hata tukiambia bishop tunamsaidia aji. Right. You know? So, so they, they took, took up the burden. burden. Wow. Wakasema, let our pastors minister to us. This will handle this matter. Amazing. May God bless them. Amen. Actually. Amen. So, Trudy, mm -hmm. um, uh, campus, I asked myself, si tunasoma, ndio tupate job, tupate no, pesa. Uluko unasoma nini by the way? Theater, arts and film. Okay. Yeah, at KU. Mm -hmm. So I asked myself, tunasoma, ndio tupate job, ndio tupate pesa. So kama pesa ndio imekuja sasa, nafaya nini shule? Wait. So I dropped out. No. Yeah. Nikiwa second year, first term. Shule ija kushinda. Maapano. Unafanya vizuri. You're performing well. Yeah. Good with your classes and yeah. no issue at all. No, no, no. But you got some money. But some money. Tunafaya nini, basi. What? See, that's the whole essence ya kuela shule then. Like, sasa kwa yeah. kitu yangu. Yeah. So, mini kaacha. But, siku. Wacho ni kulize. Kwa yeah. how much money were you making? Tuambie tu. Tricky. <laughs> Tuambie roughly. <laughs> No good money. Uh, uh, okay, let me paint a picture and to say it was good money. Because mm -hmm. after a while, to liacha kudil na the campus students to kanza kuwa na clients when you're in working class. So you are making good money. But mm -hmm. my 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 other two friends, they continued with school. Like how oh, I could drop out. For them, did you, did you guys like have a conversation? Did you tell them, Maze me, I'm out. No, no, no. Like, we had Kidogo. Okay. But then they are like, that's a, apo, that's a sinikila mtu maisha yake. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's how, it, it, that's how it went. Okay. Na, yeah. Devi, tunapata ane, jioni ama usiku ama weekend, okay. you know. But they are doing their thing, I'm doing my thing. Because pia mimi, kando na the, the general clientele we had, ata mini kola wangu personally, you know, that I'm, I'm taking care of. So, I left school for a while, but for, from nearly, nearly drop out 2012, so mbaka wakati nili okoka, nili okoka 2015. For three years? Yeah. You were out there doing Actually, what? Actually, I was out for more than three years. Doing what? Selling the, drugs? The, <laughs> yeah. And having life? <laughs> doing life. Wow. Yeah. How did that sit with your parents? Ah, now, I never told them. So, wakinipea the, the banker's check, ya kulipa school fees. Nena na deposit to mimi, like, I never actually touched their money okay. at any point. Okay. Na i deposit to wanini. Na na waletea receipt, but mimi siko shule. Wow. So they know these guys in school. Uh-huh. Haya. Uh, when they are like semi exams, the very first, first few semesters that I had left school, niliko natokia for exam. But after a while, niliko natu, ah, you know, like, ah, you know, story na chokia. What's the point? Kacha tu. So they, they became concerned. Mm. Ay, we, atu only results, atu, tunawana tu unalipa shule, but. Yeah. So una, not after two story up and then, tuna, and then napotelea, you know. Ah, uh, for the interest of time, wacha nifike huko mwisho mwisho. So, so that time, where were you living? You had an apartment for yourself? <sighs> a lot of places, like... <laughs> oh, So I was in home, I was in the home, I was in Okay. A lot of stuff. So I was in the home, I was in the home. Because here your time, you know, some of these clients, I was in the home, I was in the home, like I was in the home forever. <laughs> Mercy Lord. Yeah, so, uh, fast forward to around 
14. I think the prayers of these ladies mm. got to heaven. Yeah. And everything started going wrong. Like Nikaacha Tukanza Tukukosana and my two friends. I don't know, like Tukanza Tukukosana. Ah, my clients were Kacha Tuku call. Oh. I go like, what's happening with my life? Nikaanza kuana very, very near death experiences. Like what? Give me an example. Ah, an example, mm -hmm. one example. There was this time I was trailed by a cop for like a week. So when this cop knew that I know, uh, after I've gone to, to get my stash from where I, mm -hmm. from the very now big drug dealers, yeah. I'm feeling the firearm. Like, I feel, for, for those that do that business, it's a statement to you okay. that sasa mali umefika, tutakuangusha. Wow. I was like, oh, okay. But then remember my friends, wako well connected. Yeah. Sasa, how? Like, they, they never just angusha anyone. They mm. do a lot of background checks. Okay. Yeah. That was one. Another one. So you didn't have a conversation with the guy? No, 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 no. It was just... But I knew what was happening. Like, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Because Ian is final, final stages mm -hmm. before Sasa. If, if he gets to talking to you, Sasa, kuambie, Sasa, umebakche mwisho. But then they do a lot of background checks before they do something. Yeah. Hiya. Um, another one. Another one. Mm. Another one. Kuna time kulikuwa na serious protest. Mm -hmm. KU. Mm -hmm. Na watu waka fanya a lot of crazy stuff. And then they blocked the road. Mm. By the time they are doing that, since it's called Annex, KU Annex ni some place here to drink and stuff, to enjoy yourself, atuju what is happening out there. So ni mes mama na certain lady to come here na wait when they home. Sayi ni sasa sabo zibu tunafanya nini yapo. When you go to the gate, tunapata watu wame jabo like, hey, what's happening? Kumbe wame 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 block the road. There are cops on the other end. There are cops on the other end. Mm. And kuna kuna like some chaos is na happen apo. Then they they tell us, akuna mtu tuna ruswa ende home. Ni mulale uku leo. Okay. And then because we are a little bit tipsy, to can say, ay, kweni nini? Mm. And they surrounded us. Na nikasikia moja hame chapisha chuma chini. Na moja karusha mawe ika nigonga. Na mwingine nikajua, ha? Kusha wewe. Someone just showed up. Haka sema, ha, wacha hina, kweni ya mchu yu mse? Oh. Hala huse ni mse, hala tuwa, hala tujeza huko li. Haka nirudisha nani? <laughs> Someone you know. I don't know that guy. Wow. I can't read the name with the lady. I can't say my name. You read it to me. Okay. Okay. The very final one mm -hmm. happened 15 days before I got born again. Okay. So I had gone to Embu to 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 cross the ear, to cross over the ear, mm -hmm. 31st. Because I like I said, one of my partners called me. Uko na kwetu ni uko. So me ni lienda kuruka mwak. We had a good time, tuka lewa, tuka kula nyama, tuka... The first time in my life, nika blackout. That has never happened. Oh. So I was shocked myself. Ay? Mimi, nika, what? Yeah. So in the morning, napewa story. Devi hata huku wana mwaka ikiruka. Ulizima. What? Okay. Ah. okay. So in the morning, tumeamuka na hangovers. We decide to go to kuna waterfalls mbili somewhere in Embu. Mboenjero, Mboenjero for someone who's from there, wanajua. So we decide to go there. Iko karibu na lami. To smoke up, to smoke up. Ndiyo ni, ni kwepo wa niende Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. to get high for the journey. So we smoke up, we smoke up, we smoke up. Then we come to the, 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 the tarmac. I tell my friend, mm -hmm. ah, Wacha tu niende. Sidani kuna kitu yinine meja tutafanya. Tuta, tutarudi biz kitu kama... 13th, huko. we used to take a holiday break ourselves. Okay. Like from Jamuri day, paka January, mm. at Uzi Kitu, at fine, niku, oh, niku party. And spend what you've now earned. Yeah. So, nika mwambia, we ukirudi Nairobi, you call me, and then we get back to the business. Mm -hmm. okay? When we were, pale kwa waterfall, tuliketi, tukambiana, ikitubana, mbona tunaitumia tuku kujienjoy, let us come up with a business plan. Oh. 
Okay. Kitu major. Vile tunaelekea, hey, like we started thinking of ourselves kama kina esco but kona sasa hii. I think we should we should just you know let's go global. Yeah, let, let's do something like serious. Let's let's be serious in our lives, Bana. Okay. To invest money for any you know. I did not know. Okay, later on, and I think by the spirit of God, I came to understood. When we got to that point, God alijua, there's no turning back for this guy. Mm. In a way. Because if, if that had happened, I don't know, like CG. So I think God wakati aliskeyo conversation, yeah. alijua wewe. Sasa, ah, I I, sasa. So, nimefika kwa tamak. I tell him, let me just leave. Gari kakuja, the first Nissan, because mm. it was rockers. Hizo siku. Za Meru Nairobi. So I tell him, and nilikuwa napenda uketi this very fast seat. Mm -hmm. Nika ingena nika keti. Tunapiga story, tunangoja gari jaya. He tells me, mm -hmm. hey Davy, bana unanuka weed sana, toka. Mm -hmm. Kula miwa, at least usichome. <laughs> so nashuka, tunakula miwa. Iyo gari kaja, dere haka niuliza, Davy, bana, situende. Wanatujua. Mm -hmm. Nika mwambia, ah, wacha mungina ene, tuwa kuna naoma kwa ni, mungina itakam. Yeah. And, it, and it left. Like five minutes later, another one came, mm. na nika ingia. Nimekula miwa zangu. Na tukaenda. Like we, atu kuenda even ten minutes. Nika pata that car. Kila mtu wa meisha ispokuwa the last seat, wamebaki watu wa wili. What? They died? Yeah. It was even on the news. It was ahead on January 1st, 2015. Was it an Neno sako. I don't know what happened, but I just saw blood. Gary meisha. I got sober. Nika angalia niko na inayi ni legari ni likuwa ni mepanda. Likuwa mbele kwanza. Nili get sober. And then from that day, 1st of January 2015, till when I got born again, I was the most afraid person on earth. Mm. I never slept. I, I was just, oh my goodness. Nili kwa in terror. Not because of that. Like I don't know, it was something spiritual I yeah. think. Like, I think the devil now had gotten to the point of his salvation is nearing, let us take him out. Yeah. You know? So I was terrified all the time. Like, my goodness. So, siku mchana, nikotu in fear. On 15th of January in the night, nilikuwa mahali, tume kunywa kunywa na some guys, tume smoke up, nikotu a little bit high, I decide to go home. Kasema hasta lala huku na hawa. Atuacha niende kwetu. Kwa ni nikona wazazi kwa ni. So I decide let me go home. So I get home. So ulianza kuenda home kama uko hai? Siniliacha? Eh, kidogo. Like niko tu manager. Okay, I can talk. I can have a conversation. Yeah. And then for people who do a lot of weed, contrary to popular opinion, watu wamefanya yo kitu sana. Hakuna mambo ya ti bloodshot eyes na nini. No, no, no. Hmm. Yeah. You're just okay. You're just okay. <laughs> Even PLA depends on the kind of okay. ganja well, you do. <laughs> yeah, some, some Ethiopian thing and I don't know, Malawi stuff. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I decided to go home. January, in most churches, kuna kuanga season ya praying fasting. Yeah. So they are fasting. Sijuika kulikuwa na food or something. So naenda, I prepare something, nakula. So my dad shows up. We start having a conversation. Like just a random conversation. And then, I don't know. I don't know what provoked him. Na all that time, bado ajui ya uko shule. Ajui. Ajui. Yeah, and I suspect. Anangoja tu graduation one day. Yeah. Na yo time kwanza iliko inafa, iliko ime happen ama. Yeah. Around that time. So out of nowhere, ana ni uliza. Na devi ni mesikia ma story as if raishi. Ti umekua mlevi, umekua, you know. For the first time in my life, and I, I, believe God it was the last. Nikajibizana na mzazi. I was shocked at myself. Mango like, Davy, bana. Kuna do? Like, nika mambia, kuwa ni kuna noma. Like, ika kuwa a very heated conversation. Yeah. Until he got mad. Aka sema, ah, nimeenda kulala. Siyezi kuongelesha ukiwa hivi. Inonekana hata uredi saa hii uko mlevi. Mm. So he went to bed. When he got to his room, God told him, <coughs> that is not your son. That is just any other sinner. Go back and preach to him. Oh, wow. 
So my dad is telling God, hey, bana, hey, um, toto, what are you saying? God is like, go back mm. and just preach to that boy. Watch out, boy. Oh, I mean, yeah, be shy. No, no, no. Yeah. So my dad comes back. He sits down and he starts preaching. First of all, Nikki Mwana Kikuja and go like, um, say, bana. I wish I could like to because he starts preaching. Matthew 11, 28. Come unto me, all you live. Like, 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 eh? Revelation 3, he starts preaching. And then at some point, I stopped hearing his voice. And then a voice came to my ear. Okay, now, in hindsight, I know it was the Lord. Yeah. But at that time, a voice came to my ear. And as he started speaking, remember I've told you for 15 days, mm. Nico, ter Nico terrified, like the whole time. But when this voice started speaking, What's happening? And then so the Lord is asking me, hey, David, man. Oh. we started having a conversation. Wow. So in my heart, I'm Jibu. I'm a bummer, but. Yeah. And then now God started showing me scenarios that he's rescued me from, death scenarios. So I'm going to go hey. And then as he's speaking, oh my God, like that peace that hey, engulfed me at that moment, I was like, hey, and like, what? Yeah. So Ananionesha, you remember this? Because very exact, very precise. Yeah. And then they were not in my mind, like, nilishasa, mm. how? But God is pointing them out one after the other. And then he asks me, Uyo Yesu unaambiwa hapa na baba yako? Si umjaribu. Maka nika muuliza, ay, kwa nini? Then he tells me, ata saivle tunaongea. I was still different. Mm. Ah, like, <laughs> 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 like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's getting scared. Spooky now. This is for real. Try this Jesus out. If he fails you, tell him he failed you. Mm. And then he went quiet. I just interrupted my dad. My dad is like... Because I really felt in my heart if I don't make this commitment today, I will die. I was sure. Mm. I was sure death is somewhere hanging around me. I don't know how or when, but I knew this is my way out. If I don't accept this Jesus that, they are, that my dad is talking about, and that voice that was speaking to me must be connected to him. Because I felt peace for the first time in many days. So I told my dad, "Ni ome ni okoke." My dad is like, "Uko shua." Na juu alamda ni ulevi ni. Ni ome. Just story, yeah, you know. So my mom, she obviously alikuwa na eaves drop from yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Ame kujia kilia. Devi una juu ni nuna sema. Yeah. Alambi ya my dad, na juu alamda amele. Mutu na biango ni ni. So they tell me to kneel down. I yeah. kneel down. They lead me in prayer. They start crying. My sisters wanna talk here from their rooms. They are crying. Nico like, okay, mona am like, guys, ni ni ni. So I ask them, neza na kulala. They tell me, yeah, so I go, and then for the first time, I slept like a baby. Wow. So when I woke up in the morning, I knew and I knew something had happened. I don't know what. So I asked my dad, jana ni ni kilendelea. So he takes me through. What salvation is in yeah. like, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so, like, <laughs> you know. So he tells me fellowship, word, prayer, what, and all of that. And I'm like, ah, so, ananza leo. So in the evening, ni mimi church. Wow. Mchana, remember I'm not in school? Yeah. Mchana, I'm reading the word nearly the whole day. In the evening, mimi church. And that, and that, and that, and that. Actually, that is how I got filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. I was in church. Mm. I had read about him. I had... I was like, okay, niliambio na jazanga watu wako hungry. I am here and I am thirsty. It was a prayer meeting yeah. that was happening in church. So they said, walikuwa watu wachache tu. 
So they said, tukuji hapa mbele, tupatane, tu, tufunge hii prayer. Ni usiku late in the night. But mali nimeka, the Holy Ghost decides to visit me that day. Right. Na nikajazwa, serious. Nika sema hati wacha niende nika join the other team to pray pamoja. Nika shindo. Yeah. Nika sema jie, nileli na ibada. <laughs> I have another service happening. <laughs> okay, okay, and that's how I got born again. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Through the journey, um, now even after coming to the Lord, what has God taught you? What has God taught me? Number one, like I began by saying, we are living in very brutal times. Yeah. God is a merciful God. Amen. So for anyone that is following and unangalia your life and you're like, hi, Devi Bana. Okay, umefanya vitu, but guy, mali niko. I don't know, I actually don't know. But I can tell you God is a merciful God, number one. Number two, God is reliable. Huh? There's a scripture I love living by. Psalm 118, verse 8 and 9. It is better to put your trust in God than in princes. Mm. You can imagine a prince. Yeah. Like God anakwambia, nitegeme kuliko mto Iwaruto. Mm. Basically, God is very reliable. We are also living at a time when people are not trustworthy. God can be trusted. Like how, how I got even to Hope Media is a story of God being trustworthy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So God has taught me his mercy. Uh, his faithfulness, that he can be trusted. Remember he told me that day, if he fails, muambie we uliniangusha bana. Na jawai. Na jawai. I've never seen a time in you know. Yeah, God can actually. Remember, I said that before that happened, before I got born again, kila kitu liko imenda mrama. So, all I knew at that particular point of my life was rejection. Because I was wondering, mwona kila mtu wa taki story zangu. Wale madem nilikuwa nao, my business partners, my clients. So, from when I got born again up until now, I can't say it for a while, God has shown me a lot of dimensions of his love. Amen. Just to assure you that I got your back. You know, because at that moment I knew like Akuna Mtu Anataka story zangu, so I'm by myself. But God has really shown me his love. No, he's showing me his love. Present continuous tense. Right. And uh I'd also tell a parent and a guardian, mm. like oh. I mentioned earlier, oh. it is good to follow all the parenting principles, you know, but just pray for that kid. Pray for, for, for the unmarried fellas. Start praying for those kids now. For the, the just married and they don't have kids, pray for those kids. For those that are parents or guardians, pray for them. That is the most sure way of securing their future. Because... Mm. Even if you ask my parents right now, they'll tell you, uyu sisi ya tungeweza, ni mungu tu alimtoa uko. They literally know they, they could have done nothing. They had tried everything. Mm. It was only at the place of prayer where my, my deliverance was secured. So pray for your kids. And now for, the, for that young person, or not even young person, but you're in a space where you're wondering, can God really come through for me? He sure can. And actually, he'll come through in a way that you've not, you've not even thought of. He's very good at surprising people. And like I mentioned, he's full of mercy. So don't look at yourself and say, hey, he, pia, he, pia anaweza sort. he literally went to hell. Literally. The book of Peter tells us. He literally went to hell to sort us out. Amen. So I don't think umefika hell. Atakama umefika wapi, whatever, yeah, hell. whatever length you've gone, ya yeah, evil, yeah. ujaingia ukaka uko chini, in hell. Right. And he literally went to hell to rescue us. So, he can take you out of whatever it is. Mm. Yeah. Wow, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for, for agreeing to come. You're welcome. Thank you for blessing us with your great I know, I know you know why I'm saying you're welcome. <laughs> 
But so many lessons to take home from your story. We truly yeah. appreciate we you. We thank God. And uh, may God continue to use you for his glory. Amen. 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 What a story. Please make sure if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, you share with as many people as you possibly can. Let people know that God is able to save. God is able to deliver. And we have assurance in Christ Jesus. If you don't know him, you have an opportunity to know him today, not tomorrow. Now is the time. Today is the day of salvation. We'd so be, we'll be so very glad to pray with you and point you to a counselor. If you're out there needing help, please reach out to us through our WhatsApp line or through our social media platforms. Till next time, may your faith in Jesus Christ keep growing. My name is Sharon Naitore. Bye-bye.